Hi, students. Today we'll be attempting to draw cis and trans decaline. Um, the chair confirmation for both of them. They tend to be a little bit challenging, especially if it comes for, for exams. Okay, so before that, we will draw the structure, the skeletal structure on the board. So for trans decaline, it looks like this, where the bridging carbon have the H group trans to one another. It need not be H, it could be methyl group or other kind of substituent, but we keep our example simple, so we'll let it be H. So this will be trans decaline, okay? And then um, for cis decaline, the bridging carbon will have the H cis to each other. So this is cis decaline. Okay, so cis decaline <coughs> tends to be more challenging as compared to trans decaline. So I will attempt to draw trans decaline first because that's the easiest one um, which you can uh, draw for assessment purposes. Okay, so for before that, I'm going to use a model to try to explain. So uh, this is the usual chair confirmation for a six-membered ring. I hope you can uh, see how it looks like. Okay, then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the remaining... Um, four carbon here to join them up um, to give us cis or trans -decaline. So in this case, I'm going to join them up to give the trans -decaline. Okay, so how do we actually join them up to give the trans -decaline? So that's pretty straightforward. All we need to do is first, we need to choose two carbon. So um, these two carbon over here. Yeah, and then um, what we're going to do is we will keep um, two of the group here, in this case the axial position, uh, we let it be H. So I'm going to use a green uh, sphere to just join this part so that um, you know that later when I join the two um, structure up, then um, it's quite clear that uh, what you are getting is the trans -decaline. Okay, so I'm going to join them up with this two green sphere. Okay, then after that I'm going to join up the other two and Okay, like this. So I'm going to join them up. Okay. Then, uh, okay, I'm going to change my perspective a bit uh, so that you can see. So over here, I hope um, you can see that this is indeed um, trans decaline. So um, one of the H, okay, so you let the green sphere be H and then um, it's pointing up and then the other H is pointing down. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate the structure a little bit so that uh, you can clearly see the perspective. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, so um, I hope it is clear enough to you. Okay, so you can see the two chair confirmation um, lying very nicely side by side. Okay, so I'm going to shift the model a little bit. Okay, can you see them? Okay, so um, without further ado, maybe you can pause the video here for a short while and then uh, try to draw this particular structure out. Okay, I'm going to maintain it here for a while and then... Um, do attempts to draw it out to the best of your ability, okay, before I showcase to you on the board. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I think you have paused the video for a while now, so I'm going to now draw it on the board for you to see. Okay, so I'm going to use the marker here. Okay, so um, you can see a chair confirmation like this, and then I'm going to join them up with another chair confirmation, okay. And then I'm going to use another marker, uh, another color to represent the H. Okay, I'm going to represent it with red. Okay, so the H is now pointing upwards in the axial position and the other H is pointing downwards in the um, axial position. Okay, so I hope this is exactly uh, what you have uh, observed uh, earlier on when I put the structure near the camera. Okay, so, um, and now you should be aware that trans decaline is it can be quite easily drawn basically just two chair you kind of like fuse them up and then um the hitch one up one down yeah but that is not the way to draw a uh, cis decaline because um <clears throat> one of the common mistakes which students try to draw cis decaline is that they try to force this hitch upwards like this okay this is a very common mistake we get in exams uh. But this is entirely wrong because you know that this is structurally impossible because this particular carbon is an inverted tetrahedron. So it can't be like this. Okay, so I think um, if you are attempting to draw something like this for assessment purposes, then um, do take note that this is an impossible structure. Then how shall we draw it? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, use the model. 
um, and show you how it can be done. Okay, so um, I'm going to use the same model. This is the same model which I, I used earlier on. Um, and you might be able to take note that uh, this is the trans configuration which I'm talking about. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dismantle this part. Okay, I'm going to dismantle it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to put the hitch in the cis position over here. Okay, so I'm going to put a hitch here. This is a cis position, so these two are now cis position. Then I'm going to join this part up. Okay, I'm going to join it to the bottom. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. And then, of course, I'm going to uh, rotate such that you get a chair confirmation. Okay, so this is the structure that you get. Okay, so I'm going to... So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, uh, rotate the structure a little bit so that uh, you can get a nice position on how to draw it. Okay, so I'm going to just change my position a little bit here. Okay, so right now, I need you all to imagine a little bit. Okay, I, I want you to see, to check for yourself, can you actually... Um, observe a chair confirmation here. Yeah, can you actually observe? Okay, so I think it's not a very nice chair yet. So, okay, so I need to rotate a little. Okay, so can you see a very nice chair confirmation to my right? Okay, so I'm going to rotate. Okay, yes, like this. So, um, is this a nice chair confirmation? Just take a look. Yes, right? Okay, so right now, uh, I'm going to rotate the structure 90 degrees and I want you to see whether that the, the structure on the left is a nice chair confirmation. Okay, okay, maybe not 90 degrees, but 45 degrees like this. Okay, so is this a nice chair confirmation? I want you to take a look. Okay, so I'm going to rotate a little bit more. Okay, like this. Okay, so this is a nice chair confirmation as well, right? Okay, so our job now is we attempt to draw the two chair together. Okay, so I'm going to rotate this, okay? This is a little bit challenging to draw, okay, no doubt. So I'm going to rotate it in, in a position where you will attempt to draw this particular uh, structure. Okay, something like this. Can you see the two chair? Maybe not so clear cut, but um, okay, maybe I rotate a little bit. Okay, like this. Can you see that there's a chair over here, over this region? Okay, and then another one um, folding below. Can you see that? Okay, so uh, where is the chair folding below? It's like this. This is like the, the 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 place where you put the legs and then this is the rest and then this is the place where you put the head. Okay, so now I'm attempting to draw them on the board. Okay, so I will attempt to draw it on the board and then you see um, whether uh, that is something you're comfortable with in drawing. Okay, Ken? So I'm going to move to the board now. <coughs> okay, I'm going to erase this. Okay, I'm going to erase this. And um, I'm going to use the same marker, okay? So, uh, not cheating here, okay? So, uh, the video is streaming throughout, so you can see that everything I'm trying to show you is a perspective which I see, and I hope you can see that as well. Okay, so I'm going to draw something like this, okay? Like this. Okay, so at the same time, I will draw in the hitches. Okay, so the hitches, earlier on, we decide that um, it is going outwards like this and like this. Am I right to say that? Okay, so I'm going to just rotate again for you to see um, what I'm looking at right now. Okay, so like this. Okay, some oops. Like this. Oops. Okay, I'm trying to, to check the perspective which earlier ah yes so it's something like this okay can you see that so this is the axial hitch okay uh pointing vertically outwards this is the equatorial hitch pointing uh 45 degrees to the left okay so now i'm attempting to draw the remaining chair can you see how can you try to uh envision how to draw it so the next thing you need to draw is you need to draw this line okay projecting out towards you and then you need to draw the two vertical line here and here downwards and then another V like this. Okay, so I'm going to do it now on the box so that you can see. Okay, so um, like this. Okay, and then down and then fold up like this. Yeah, so this is one of the structures. Okay, so this is a uh, cis declin confirmation where both um, the six membrane are in the chair confirmation. <coughs> Some of you will ask, um, in that case, can I 
have other answers? Is it possible to have other answers? Of course, the answer is yes, because it depends on the perspective which you are taking. Okay, so I'm going to show you another perspective right now. Okay, so right now, um, okay, so earlier on, right, um, this is the this is the chair which you have drawn. Okay, so earlier on, this is the chair which you have drawn. So again, um, let me just emphasize that uh, this is the axial and this is the equatorial. Okay, so right now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this a little bit, maybe like this. Okay, can you see now? Okay, so now can you see that um, another chair which I can actually comfortably, comfortably draw is from this particular perspective and um this thing is folded like this okay so can we try to draw that on the board yes we can do that okay so i'm going to just draw that on the board straight away so that you can see that um there are a lot of ways for you to draw the chair confirmation okay so um i'm going to showcase um this to you okay so um it'll be like this like this like this okay and then um after that like this, like this. Okay, my apologies if the drawing is a little bit ugly, but um, at, at least in a very rough sketch, in that sense, uh, this is how it should look like. And of course, um, the H is here, and the H is here, like this. Okay, so this is also says that queen. Okay, and then um, what about other perspective? Yes, so I'm using the same model now, so there's no cheating. I can also show you another perspective. Uh, so instead of the H pointing up in the cis um, configuration, I can also let it point out because I just simply rotate the structure. So this is fine as well. Okay, so um, if you prefer to draw something like that, you can. Okay, so can you see that now um, one of the H axle is pointing down, the other one is pointing to the back. Okay, so you can draw something like that as well. And then um, the one vertically is like folding upwards um, like this a little bit. Okay, so uh, I'm going to draw it on the board so that you can compare and you see uh, which one you like, like this, okay, and then um, like this, and like this. Okay, so remember that the axial hydrogen is, in this case, pointing downwards. So uh, down, and then of course, uh, the other one pointing like this. Yeah, so earlier on, uh, if you are very particular about perspective, so so um, this black hydrogen should be, I mean the, the red hydrogen should actually be in front. Okay, so like this. Okay, so um, I hope you find this particular uh, video useful because um, uh, this actually showcase to you how to draw trans and cis decline. So you'll be wondering, um, what about exams? You know, like because exams, we don't have a model, right? We, we are not allowed to bring this um, into the exam hall on, you're not allowed to have any um, unfair advantage. So without a, a model, what can we do in exam? So we're not going to have a model here. Okay, so in exams, um, my suggestion, um, as what I often tell the students, um, is a very simple one, is to maintain the chair confirmation being the most stable uh, confirmation of all. Okay, so first of all, right, the trick to drawing sys uh, Decline during exam is you draw one chair first. Okay, so how do I draw one chair? So let me just draw one chair first. Okay, like this. And you know that for, for the cage to be in cis configuration, uh, they must point in the same direction. So if this is pointing up, then the one next to it must also be pointing up. But it cannot be point up, it cannot be pointed out like this because uh for this particular cage to be pointing up, it must be in the equatorial position. So in that case, uh, this will be incorrect. So do not force this structure out. Yeah, so you have to draw it in the equatorial position. Uh, no choice. Okay, then in that case, all you need to do is just to continue the structure for the chair confirmation on the left, uh, keeping it drawn in a chair confirmation in that sense. Okay, so how do I keep this in the chair confirmation? It's a bit like the chair, you rotate 90 degrees. Okay, so in this case, I imagine that this portion is similar to, to this portion over here, but it's like, you know, rotated downwards. So in this case, this should be point down, and this is the equatorial uh, CC point. Okay, so uh, you can see that this is really a little bit like 
this particular chair confirmation, uh, but you rotate kind of 90 degrees. Okay, so in that case, I, I will need to shift this down and then just complete the chair like this. Okay, so for exam purposes, or let's say you are required to showcase to your friends or, or in, in, in the future in universities, you, you, you need to, um, I mean, during viral exams, the professor asks you, I think one good way to draw it is to keep um, what you can fix fixed. Uh, I think that will be a, a very easy way uh, to go about drawing. Okay, so I hope you find this uh, useful and do keep a lookout for future videos related to um, the content in H2 and H3. Thank you.